What is up, everybody? Oh, right here, and we are back with some more Motor Doom, a Tony Hawk inspired roguelike shoot 'em up horde survival game. It's actually pretty fun and pretty crazy. Um, I did a video before on this game for the demo, but now we have the actual release of the game, so all the content is here. This is not an early access release, so this game is out right now. And let's see what it's priced at. It's currently priced at 13. 99 you can buy it for 10 percent off though i think for the first couple weeks uh but i i enjoy this game there's there seems to be a decent amount of content now that i'm looking at it there is a full career mode and again this is basically exactly like tony hawk they took a ton of inspiration from tony hawk so let's look at the career and we're actually just going to do a single run though but we have two characters here you can customize them which is pretty cool uh, you can get different front mods. So there's different mods you can equip. You can equip like a front, a, mo uh, a back, and then I think an engine. So you get a front mod here, which will maybe add weapons, adds more XP, things like that. You get a back mod, which will increase HP, uh, more scrap. Uh, it looks like you get a FU sword. <laughs> um, and then you get some motor equipment that's going to increase your speed and jump height, your grind balance. And then there's extra character skins and then there's bike skins and so each character is each there's two characters in this game right now there's motor dude and then boner brothers they each have their own separate uh upgrades so go ahead and upgrade those there's a bunch of different skins for this character and a couple bike skins and then when we get into this so let's just select this so then we this is the career mode so you're gonna have these different levels so you have one two three four five looks like there's five levels in the game right now and each of these levels is going to have all these objectives you can do high score pro score it, it's exactly like tony hawk if you played the tony hawk games this is this is pretty much how they work too you got to find secrets they give you objectives to do like grind over the quarter pipe rails uh scores land combos uh collect letters uh so they have all those challenges in this game which is pretty sweet and then that's how you're gonna unlock a lot of, that's how you're gonna get a lot of your coins and um, unlock all the upgrades for this. But for this video, we're just gonna do a single run and we'll just, we'll play and we'll just have fun and see how well we can do, especially since I unlocked the next stage. So I've been upgrading Motor Dude the most, so let's jump into him. So I did unlock the Cultish Church. I haven't played this level yet, level yet. let's jump in and check it out. So enemies are going to be showing up here soon. I kind of got a little better at comboing things. Um, I I think what really helped is there's an option to um to here I'll I'll, I'll show you here in a second. So let's just do our upgrade first. Um, let's do let's increase our jump height. So if we go to options and we go to gameplay. Um, there's an option here for auto accelerate. I think that really helps. <laughs> I think that really helps with some of the gameplay here because I was having an issue. I don't, I don't know what it was, but I was having an issue grinding and then jumping off the grinds and, and landing those. I don't know if it, it was, if it was just the controls or if it's just a skill issue, but when I put it to that, it, it made it a lot easier. Okay. Let's make the enemies explode. Oh, there's a new, there's like another area over there. Oh, we crashed, dang it. I'm still not good at this game, so don't expect me. This is not, I was pretty good at Tony Hawk, but geez, that was like 20 years ago. <laughs> that was, I remember I, I played Tony Hawk a lot. Uh, okay, let's do more of the explosions. Let's actually go check out that other little area over here, too. I want to see what this is. Oh, so this is like the actual... Oh, my gosh. That's cool. This is the actual church. Is this like a huge jump? Kind of. Okay, and then there's another little hidden room back here. Uh, let's see if I can get back there. I don't know how to get back there. 
I don't know if I can get back there. Oh well. I don't, oh man, I wish the game wouldn't do things when you're in the middle of a combo though. I think that would be nice. Um, give you your level ups after you complete a combo, even if it's multiple level ups. Uh, shoots blood every time you perform a flip trick. Damage four times tricks in your combo. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try that one. So we need to do flip tricks. Oh! <laughs> I thought I thought there was gonna be a ramp right there for me to jump up on. Yeah, so you can do some pretty cool stuff in this game. I think let's do increased damage. This game's gonna have one of those really high sky uh high ceiling for uh skill. It'll be fun if you're not good at the game, but it'll probably be very fun. Like if you can get good at this game and start doing all, all the combos, that's when you're gonna really start to notice how good you are. Oh, I just did slow-mo. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's do jump height again. Okay, let's go try to find some more health. So these gears right here are your currency for upgrades. I don't know what we need to do to really start seeing more health upgrades, though. Oh no, I landed right on my... I got confused by the trick I was doing. Okay, there's... Increased damage while grinding. Let's do the extra XP stuff. So now I can kind of land like into a into a wheelie. Let's do, um, let's do, let's re-roll these. There's one that gives us more health. That's really what I want to see. We could do the, we can do that. You unlock more skills too as you play the game and complete, um, I think there's a, I think there are achievements in this game. Um, I don't remember if they were in the main menu or not though, but they are in the game and you kind of see them as you complete, uh, jeez. Okay, that was kind of cool. Unintentionally kind of cool. Oh, that was too much. I tried to get too too fancy there. So that was kind of cool. Okay, where's our health at though? Increases damage. Where's our where is all our health drops?
Not seeing any health drops here is, is scaring me. There's a health drop. Okay, let's do balance grinding. Oh, <laughs> I got, <laughs> I got like, I was doing a wheelie, but I got, I got caught on the ramp for it. This is one of those games that you would just want to play and just master. Just get hecka good at this, like Tony Hawk. I still think you should do damage to enemies as you do a trick, though. Let's do spin rate. Oh, see? That, that trick really throws me off, because I think I'm landing it. Right? So it makes me think it really throws off my where I am at in the air, I guess. Come on, get out of here. There's a health up here. Let's see. Increases balance while doing a wheelie, sure. See, it, it really does throw off your trick combos when you're when the level up pops up. That would be a cool thing. That'd be a cool thing to fix. Just pick up all like this XP. Okay, let's do that pickup radius. Again, hardly any health is dropping for us. I like that you jumped too high for that area of the level. <laughs> oh shoot, that was a huge. Okay, medkit, this is what I want. Medkit drop champs is increased by 20% per stack. I think that's a good one that we probably need here. Do the pickup radius again still? Okay, we're borderline dead here. We're like one hit away. Oh, get that health! Thank you. Okay, let's do... Let's see. Let's do a little more balancing while doing the wheelie. Okay, let's 
just drive around and try to find more health. Oh, I did not. Dang it, I did not mean to do that. That was a... Uh... Did not mean to do that. Okay, so now we get some new upgrades here. I didn't mean to grind there. Uh, die for the first time. Okay. <laughs> so I, I have... Well, no, I guess I didn't die. I only played one round on the... On the actual release. And I just did the career mode. And I beat the first level. Okay, so die for first time. You get more health. Now we get a scythe that circles around you for 10 damage. Plus 5% of your base damage times tricks in your combo. That's... You re they really want you to do, they really want you to just keep doing tricks here, which is pretty cool. I, I do like that, um, I do like that you get more, um, let's go back, um, let's customize. Let's see if I can, so I have a front add-on for enemies drop more XP. Right now I have permanently increases max HP and I also unlocked more scrap, which is the currency, which I... This is what I'll use for when I try to grind offline. Let's see if I can afford one of these. Uh, I have 42, so I can increase my speed and jump height of my bike. Grind balance, a jet pack. That's pretty cool. Let's do the ink, the speed and jump height, just so we have something. And then let's do one more run. So let's select you. Let's go back to the first map, just so we're running something a little different here. So if you want to unlock the levels and stuff, you need to do the career mode. I wish those would count as a trick. Okay, so let's do the homing missile. Jeez. Okay, let's do that med kit right there. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I like doing the slow-mo stuff. I think that's kind of fun. Okay, let's do the med kit again. Let's get that maxed out. See, sometimes I sometimes I think I'm trying sometimes I think I'm going to do a trick and I don't. Because I do hit X when I do a move, and then it sometimes it doesn't... I don't know if it just doesn't register it, or if I hit the wrong thing. And I'm not even sure. I guess I should be doing spins, because it looks like you do get credit for a spin sometimes. Um, Let's do... Shoots blood every time you perform a flip trick. I, I didn't really see what this was doing, but maybe it's it's good. Shoots blood. Oh no, I let go of it too early. I'm just gonna enjoy this death animation. Nope, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's do max HP is increased. So let's do, let's do the site. Uh, let's increase damage.
Jeez, that was... <laughs> that was a tough one to land. Okay, let's do the max HP again. Oh, okay, I'm back. I bailed out of that flip just in time. HP again. Man, I don't know what... I think it throws me off how I'm doing the wheelie. But I definitely have a hard time registering uh, which way I need to go back up for the trick. Double flip. Let's see. Let's go with Burn Enemies with the Flamethrower. Ah, oh, see, I lost my trick again there. Uh, mm, I told you. I, to I warned you guys. I'm not very good at this game yet. Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever be good at this game. <laughs> Let's do the last max HP. That was probably my best trick right there. That was a good, pretty good combo. Okay, let's do the XP. Yeah, see, we got a lot of XP from doing that trick. Let's do the XP again. Dang, I got like three levels from that. Uh, let's do the... Let's do the wheelie damage. Dang, how many level ups did I get by doing that trick? That's a lot. Let's go overload. I tried to get into that flip way too late. That was, so that was definitely probably my best trick. Okay, there's an HP right here. Let's do... Pick up radius. Yeah, I need to kind of try to get... There's HPs around here that I need to pick up. Let's do reload speed. Let's do Brian Balance. Homie Missile. Oh, let's see, I lost my trick there.
Uh, let's do the homing missile again. Let's do ammo count. No, I don't know what happened there. Oh, uh, I think I may. I don't know. Maybe I hit the button too soon. I, I don't know. All right, let's do. I like doing the, the balancing ones because that's probably what helps me out the most. Let's do inflicts burn when hitting an enemy. Let's do balance while doing a wheelie. But just go back and watch my first video and then watch this video. Even though, you know, I'm not I'm not doing like phenomenal, it's still I would say a drastic improvement over the amount of points I'm scoring here while doing the run, you know. Reload speed. Yeah, I'm just gonna land this. <laughs> that was a good trick again, too. I, I didn't want to risk losing it. Uh, let's do balance again. drop thing still seems really low even though even though I got the bonus for it oh my gosh get me out of here okay let's do damage increase when grinding I only have to survive 20 more seconds what I should do is just kind of go over into this little room over here right because I think I just have to survive and then I win Oh, shoot, now we have to kill a boss. Damn. I should have known that was coming. Okay, I'm just gonna... Let's see where this boss is. I need to try to hang out by the boss. Let's see. Let's re-roll these. Let's do the lightning. Where's the boss at? Where are you at, boss? Oh, is he the flying guy? Uh, let's do damage increase. This is probably... Killing the bosses is actually probably kind of challenging in this game. Because, you know, ideally what you're supposed to be doing is traversing the whole map. 
doing trick points, but then you need to make sure that you're staying close enough to the boss to hit him. Or else you're just gonna be here forever, right? Let's do increase damage of burn. Oh, I've that was that was on me. I didn't even realize I was doing. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was doing a wheelie. Let's do reroll these. I want to do things that are going to increase my damage, really. Let's do the burn damage again. Okay, I'm like one hit from dying, though. Oh, oh, I thought that was it. There's some health, luckily. Oh, oh no, we're dead. So I think ultimately I just need to get more damage going. That's kind of tough to kill the boss, though, when when you have to move around the map so much and you can't really... It's it's hard to target the boss. But that was a pretty fun... That was probably my best run. We had some pretty good combos in there. Just need to keep doing that so we can level up more, because the more tricks you do, the more level ups you do, you get into overload and you do more damage. So there we go. That is going to be it for... Uh, motor doom a really cool fun game unique roguelike too that came out um i was a huge fan of tony hawk so it's really cool to see <laughs> to see this <laughs> mixed in with a, a roguelike horde survival type game uh there's definitely a high skill ceiling but i think you can have fun enough with it too if you're not that great at this type of game uh there is a career mode where you can kind of run around and practice and that's actually a good way to learn how to play the game because you have to get the combo chains. Uh, you have to land 10 trick combos in a row. You have to collect all the letters. So that's a really good way to kind of teach you how to play the game too. And then you can go run into the single runs and um, the endless modes. So yep, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.